Hey you, welcome to Slate Aspire. They've made a daily challenge for January 13th, 2023. The character at the silent and the mana parser draft dropped a custom starting deck of cards. Flight, you may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to. And night terrors, resting your side seals 100% few HP, but costs 5 max HP. Alright, before I get started, Mike here was 1634 and George was 1609, making it into the top 20, and Pels with 1707. Yeah, really good. Let's review the scores from yesterday. Um, so it looks like a lot of people played yesterday. I ended up in 18th place, which I'm very happy with. Chef in the Cloud was able, after a uh, long bout of uh, not playing dailies because of, um, I'm going to call it sickness. So hopefully, Chef, you feel you're all recovered and feeling better. Um, yeah, so 11th place was 1734, really good score, um, played a little faster than me, so was able to get another 25 points there, and then was also able to get an extra elite on Act 3, and I think that's the big thing, and I thought that just maximizing the, um, the wing boots would have only allowed you to, uh, have one extra elite on Act 3. Three instead of having the lead on Act Two, but it looks like a few people, including Chef and Malazan, were able to just get an extra lead on Act Three, which obviously gives you an extra 55 points. Um, so yeah, congratulations! A really good score, followed by Mike was 1715, also pretty good. Lord of Tal 1701, and Pelts was 1697. So as I mentioned, I ended up in 18th place, perfected all the elites and bosses, 13 of them in total. Um, so very happy with that score yesterday. For the Danya of Hooper was 1676, and Zombie Panda was 1674. Uh, Rado was 1666, which uh, 67, which is pretty good, and Monkey Bone was 1642. Monkey Bone also was able to get an extra elite on Act Two, actually, but it wasn't able to get the Alex Shiny modifier. I think that was a big difference. Um, I, if you remember, I had to buy some relics I wasn't super happy with to be able to get exactly to 25 relics, and I can definitely imagine somebody not doing that and hoping for a different relic somewhere else. Um, also, Monkey Bone was able to get two collector bonuses and was close to being able to get more, um, but unfortunately, I ended up with two. I, I think I only had three. Um, further down, you have Vorpal here with 1636. Uh, Vorpal actually got the Apparitions event, which is interesting. Also uh, caused Vorpal to lose a bunch of max HP, and uh, Vorpal had to use the feed over and over again to catch back up with the max HP. As a result, also wasn't able to get the Inscribedian modifier because um, at the end you had the relic that allows you to get max HP for taking cards. So uh, Vorpal chose to uh, reject uh, a few cards to get enough max HP and, and yeah, lost a little bit of points there. But still, pretty good score. Um, and then further down, you have Malzan here with 1615. Um, so Malzan was able to pack 13 out of the 14 possible elites. Um, and also got two collector bonuses. Interestingly, went again for a rupture deck. Um, so was able to, uh, I'm assuming using the offerings and a few other cards, be able to get a lot of strength very quickly. So yeah, definitely, definitely an, a reasonable strategy yesterday. And I think that's it. Um, just barely into the top 100, um, David made it here with in 97th place. So check out his video and stream. So David was able to perfect almost everything, got four collector bonuses. But I think the big difference was um, wasn't able to get the I like shiny modifier. So that's an extra 25. I think David was one relic short. So that's an extra 50 points that um, theoretically would have been possible. Um, and then one comment I wanted to point out is uh, Misix pointed out that I could have, uh, I, I probably should do a rule where as soon as I get wing boots, I should just start to jump as soon as I can, because usually I try to keep one jump for act two and two jumps for act three. And then a lot of times I feel like I don't get enough jumps on act three. So it's definitely a reasonable strategy. And, and one of these days when I have the time, I think I'll just look at um, the different act threes that I played, not necessarily with the wing boots, just in general and see if it would make sense to hold two charges of wing boots there or just one. Anyway, all right, let's move on to today's run. So with draft, it's always difficult to, do, to sort of commit to a strategy. But because I'm starting off with a discard synergy card, I think I'll take that. I would also, of course, like to grab some shift cards. But let's start with acrobatics. And there's no reason not to go for collective bonuses, right? Let's do a second acrobatics then. Okay, well, now I have to take sneaky strike and a third acrobatics. Okay. All right, so here, let's do the escape plan for card draw. And then deflect to have some block. A second sneaky strike is good. Dagger throw for another discard synergy. Between these, Meso Sab is great unless I get a curse. Uh, a bad curse. But let's take it. It's still a decent card. Dash is a great defensive card. Reflects for all the discard synergies that I have. Piercing Well is a great, another great defensive card. And a third sneaky strike. Okay. Let me also sort it to Z right away. 
All right, and then I'll do another dash here and a third dash. Okay, well, so this is not the best deck, but it is a good deck if I'm going for a lot of collective bonuses. So I have three acrobatics, three dashes, and three sneaky strikes. But really, my damage engine will be the sneaky strikes. So I, I would like to, right now, I only have the acrobatics and the dagger throw for discard synergies. So ideally, I would pick up some more cards that allow me to discard things. Because of flight, I can hit three of the four elites and then a bunch of question mark rooms. Although I, I should try to lose HP at the end, so I might decide to forego one of the question mark rooms to try to get a regular fight just to lose the HP. All right, let's start off with masterful stab, then acrobatics. I also realize I don't have any AOE damage, right? Sneaky strike one, two, and then dagger throw for a kill. Okay. Got a skill potion, dodge roll, slice, or escape plan. I picked up one escape plan already. Oh, I just realized I, the only defensive card is deflect, and I guess the dashes. Let's take another escape plan. Yeah. All right, here I got my first cursed out. And because now I have the gold, I think I'll do a regular shop here. Ooh, Dolly's Mirror would allow me to get a collector bonus, a very early collector bonus. Let me first see if there's anything better. So can I do escape plan? That's 221 and 240. Yeah, so I can do dagger spray, escape plan, and the Dolly's Mirror. I don't think I need bottle lightning. Nothing urgent that I need on turn one, right? I could do an acrobatics in turn one. Hmm. It seems silly to duplicate an unupgraded rare card. I guess if I duplicate a dash, it'll be an uncommon card. But I, th I don't think I need it. Let's go with the bottle lightning. I'll pick up, choose a skill, so I come with this card in your hand. And I think that should be the acrobatics. I should also get that one upgraded as soon as I can. Let's also take the dagger spray. I can afford it just to have some AOE damage. All right. Might have been a little too soon for that shop. I did have enough. We got our Calcum here. If you end your turn without blocking six block, that's great, especially for the early act. All right, and then Jarbom here. Let's do Masterful Stab, Acrobatics, and then Sneaky Strikes, and Dagger Spray for a kill. Good. Okay, Bouncing Flask, Terror, or Caltrops. Um, none of this fits this deck uh, except for Terror, so it has to be that. And yeah, I probably should have done... Yeah, because... Well, I could... Actually, you want... Instead of a shop, let me... Why don't I just go upgrade the um, Acrobatics? That's always in my opening hand. Okay. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade the dashes. So, oh, there's a terror. Um, yeah, well, hang on. If I want to do the sneaky strikes, is there any reason to wait? No, no, I don't think I need to wait. Let's get rid of this. And then I will get rid of the doubt rather than reflex because I don't actually need card draw. And unfortunately, I have to play the terror after playing all the sneaky strikes. Mm -hmm. Then do terror, masterful stab, and then can I get... No, no, no good defensive card here. 18. Yeah, I need to get... I'm not even sure what I need to get to be able to fully defend here. Um, let's do... Let's do acrobatics. Alright. And then escape plan. I did get one sneaky strike. Would I be able to get a block card out of this? Cloak and dagger? Yep, that will... No, that's not enough. I completely forgot I need more than the, just the cloak and dagger. All right, fine. Yeah, there's no way I can fully defend here, unfortunately. Only two blocks short. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, but I can't really complain because it's not like I really had a choice here. All right. Okay, didn't perfect this one. We got Blood Vile at the Starvage Combat heal 2 HP. Distilled Chaos and Blade Dance might be good. All attack would discard something, but I won't be able to control what it gets discarded. Let's still take it for some, um, for some AoE damage. Okay. All right, starting off with acrobatics again. Get rid of this to draw. Uh, it's a shame that I don't have the energy to play the terror first. Maybe I should get that upgraded as soon as I can. That might be a useful thing to do. All right. Okay, not a bad turn. Built a bunch of damage here. And only six incoming, so as long as I don't play a skill, I should be fine. Let's do all out attack. And okay, that discarded the sneaky strike, which is what I wanted. Actually, I can kill here. Good. At gambling chip at the starvage comma, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. Very useful. Extremely useful, actually. Flies back, but cloak and nagger. Let's now take a regular defensive card with backflip. Okay. And then anchor, starvage comma with 10 block. Very useful, especially against the sentries, which I did get here. Good. All right, so here let's get rid of everything other than the dagger spray. And do I want acrobatics? I don't think I even need that. Let's do the sneaky strike. Okay. All right, um, I actually don't need the terror here either. Let's do dagger spray, then um, sneaky strike one, two. 
And I can kill with the dash. Uh, yeah, might as well. Okay. Okay. I'll have an energy potion too, right? Alright, let's do escape plan. Then dagger throw. Alright. And then I'll do a free sneaky strike, masterful stab, and all-out attack. Okay. 20 damage seems doable. I actually still have a dash in my drop out, right? Yeah. So dash, I can fully defend here. And then I don't think I'll play the backflip just because I'm fully defended. I only need one more dash to kill next turn. Perfect. All right, perfect. This one, very happy with that. We got potion belt. I'm pick up into potion slots, slice, flying knee, or thousand cuts. I'll probably go for popper between slice and flying knee. Let's take the flying knee. Not a bad idea. Okay. Another shop where I can't afford any of the relics, which is fine. And I can't afford a lot of cards, which is not so fine. Dark Shackles is really good. I think I should take it, even though that does not let me play or get anything else. But it is a very powerful card, especially against the Hexaghost. Speaking of, I have to lose some HP. We got White Beast Statue Potions always appear in combat rewards, which is great. And then I definitely don't need to heal. All right, so I'm going to forego this question mark room. How many did I get on this act? One, two, three, four, six. Yeah. Yeah, so let's just do a regular fight just so I can lose HP here. And I'll speed this up, and I'll try to be back at 21, right? Because of Bloodvile, I have to drop down to 21. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, I dropped down a little too much. I'm down to 13, but I think that should be fine. We got a Skill Potion, Piercing Well, Bane, or Cloak and Dagger. I'll take another Piercing Well. Good. And then next upgrade, I think I should start upgrading. Actually, no, let's upgrade the Terror. That way I can play the Terror and Sneaky Strikes at the same time. Okay, so Hexaghost, um, get rid of everything. Do I want the acrobatics? Let's keep the acrobatics. Yeah, why not? Oh, I also got rid of a sneaky strike. I probably shouldn't have done that. All right, let's start with acrobatics then. I was really hoping for terror. I didn't get that. Sneaky strike, masterful stab. Next turn, I do have a... Uh, wait, the dash alone is not going to be enough. Uh-oh. Um, let's do escape plan. Another escape plan that will force a reshuffle next turn. I'm seriously considering doing another acrobatics. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Get a rift it out, and then I can play Terra at the end. Okay. I mean, I have a skill push into worst case scenario. All right. I can also do piercing whale. Yeah, so piercing whale is great here. I don't take any damage. Um, and then let's do a massive stab, dagger spray, and all out attack. I should have done all attack first because I might have been able to play the sneaky strike then. All right, I'm fully defended here. Let's get rid of the... Ref no, let's get rid of the doubt. Yep. Escape plan. I can do dagger throw. And then flying knee and... Oh, I almost miscalculated. Right, I can't get any block if I want to trigger the Oracalcum. Okay. So, escape plan is actually not the best thing here. I do have piercing well worst case though, right? Yeah, let's do acrobatics. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll do a second acrobatics. Let's do sneaky strike, escape plan one and two. All right. And then I have to do piercing wheel. Unless, let me see what the backflip gives me. Okay, I can do a free sneaky strike, which is great. And then I can do dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. To be a little careful with the burns. Sticks incoming. Again, I don't have to defend, but I mean, might as well play a dash and then dagger spray. I have to admit the vulnerability really helps the terror. Mm-hmm. And then here, I can fully defend with the Deflect. Let's do Dark Shackles to increase the chance that the all attack will hit the doubt. It did not. All right, so next turn, I'm weakened. All right, 14. Um, so if I do... Dash is only 10. How do I do this? Let me see what I draw. Hmm. So I, I have to draw something with the Reflex, right? Let's Let's play that. Okay, let's do backflip. All right, escape plan one, escape plan two. Okay. And then I... Hang on, so I have 18... Yeah, if I do the dash, I'll be able to fully defend. Uh, wait, I need to drink the energy potion for that, right? All right, so dash. So I have 18, I'm being attacked for 18 exactly. And I can do flying knee for extra energy next turn. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, extra energy here. I can do acrobatics, get rid of uh, you. And then do the sneaky strikes for a kill. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, I've got a ghost in a jar, which is great. As well as Nightmare, where Wraithform, or Phantasm Killer. I will try to go for Popper, so let's not take any of those. Do I need Wristblade? Not really. I just have the Massive Stab as a zero-cost attack card, right? Yeah, I don't even have any shivs. 
I don't think I can really take it. Flaster Stone is annoying. Get energy at the your turn. All enemies start coming with one strength. It still might be the best thing here. Yeah, let's take it. Not super happy by giving the enemies extra strength, but the extra strength I'll get, uh, the extra energy I'll get is possibly worth it. Makes a lot of elites much more difficult though, right? Um, all right, so I can hit one, two, three again. Only three of the four elites, and again I'll continue to hit question mark rooms until I have enough curses. I only have uh, one so far, which is a bummer. Do I need the acrobatics? No, I think I can get rid of it. All right, so let's do sneaky strike one, two. Yeah, the extra energy makes it so much easier, I have to admit. Escape plan one. Oh, there's a terror. Good. And then I can do backflip and um, dagger throw. Uh, dagger spray, I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Uh, let's do masterful stab. Almost fully defended with the dash. Actually, uh, here, if I do dagger throw and all attack, that is enough to kill. Yeah, the extra energy definitely helps. We got a regen potion, distraction, blur, well it plans. Blur is pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. It's pre-upgraded too. Remove a card or operate all strikes and defense. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to remove, so let's just upgrade all strikes and defense and move on. Still not enough gold for another shop. Let's... Oof. I might lose a lot of HP here. Do I want... How badly do I want a colors potion? I don't even... Or a colors card, I mean. I don't even need a mind plus at this point, right? Let's get... Let's get... One potion. Okay. Uh, one colorless card. Alright. Dramatic entrance is pretty good. And then just gain a bunch of gold. Alright. 28. This will bring down to 22. I don't want to drop down too much. If I take another piece of gold, I'll be... Actually, I have a region... Okay, fine. Let's do one more and then lose HP and lose. Yeah, 12. 12 HP is a little low, but it's fine. Got the looter here. Um, I'm a little worried about this, so let's drink the region potion. Even though this fight is not going to drag on for that long. Let's take dash for block, deflect for block. I'll keep the dramatic entrance. And then backflip for block as well. Yeah, I want to survive as long as I can here. Alright, so let's do deflect, dramatic entrance, escape plan. Piercing was actually really good. I can also just do dash. Let's do dash. And then flying knee. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. Alright, another 22. Massive stab with terror alone is not enough let's do uh let's do the escape plan first then the acrobatics i can also just do two actually the dash shackles are really good yeah i can just do two dashes right yeah let's do dash one uh, might as well do sneaky strike dash one and then dash two okay then masterful stab that way i can kill either one okay mm -hmm. If I can survive, or if I can fully defend, actually I can't. All right, fine. Let's do dagger spray. Yeah, I only used a nine. I only healed back up my nine, but I think that's fine. Better than nothing. Got a swift potion and quick slash or dagger spray or heal hook. I don't have any weakness, right? Let's take a second dagger spray. Okay. All right, here I didn't get a relic, but I got Sneko skull. Whenever you play poison, apply one additional poison. Too bad I don't have any poison at this point. Look of stabbing. I wasn't even offered any good poison. I had the um, bouncing flask, right? That's pretty much it. Get rid. Let me get rid of everything and then plan again. So acrobatics and sneaky strike, I think, are good. Maybe. Maybe. A, you know what? Let me keep a backflip instead of an acrobatics, just in case I can't come up with the sufficient block. I, I did get a dash here, though. Um, let me drink the strength potion here as well. So that's so a sneaky strike one, sneaky strike two. See what the acrobatics gives me. Okay, I wanted that terror, and the deflect is enough, so I don't need the backflip. So let's do terror, deflect, and then uh, flying knee, dagger spray one, dagger spray two. Seriously considering doing this still chaos here. No, no, let's save it for later. I'm fully defended this turn. Okay. 21. Yeah, piercing wheel is actually not going to be enough. So I have to, let me try the distill chaos here. Okay. Escape plan, Dark Shackles, Dash. Okay, Dark Shackles is enough. And now I can do... I can play everything. I don't even need to discard anything. Let's do Masterful Stab, All Out Attack. Awesome. It hit the... Actually, I can just kill here. Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one, we got Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a Power Card to deck upgraded, a Fear in the Bottle. And then another Acrobatics that would finally give me a Collect Bonus on the Acrobatics. Yeah, let's see that. Okay. All right, Slavers. This might be rough because I don't have a lot of good AoE. 
I do have the Piercing Whale. Let's do that. Acrobatics and Dramatic Entrance. Okay. I also have a good set of potions still. All right. Let's do Dramatic Entrance. Mm -hmm. Then Sneaky Strike. I have to do Piercing Whale, right? Let me see what the backflip gives me first. Okay, there's a Dark Shackles as well. I'd also love to do Blur. All right, let's do Blur, Piercing Whale. Then Dagger Spray. And that way I'll have some block for next turn. Let me also do Dark Shackles. That way I have even, I have even more block for next turn. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I sort of need to kill the backliner here, right? Um, let's do Terror, Dash, and then Masterful Stab. 16. I'm fully defended, so I don't need to lose the other Piercing Whale. Hmm. Which I'll be weakened next turn. Alright, so I have 21 incoming. Um, let me see what the Acrobatics gives me first. Okay, I don't think I'll do a second Acrobatics. Can I kill this guy? I can do two Sneaky Strikes, and then Dash is one short from being able to kill. But if I do Dash, and then All Out Attack, yep, I'll be able to fully defend. Okay. Another 8. Oh, this is a problem. Let me see if I can draw. Yeah, I needed to draw something like dash, right? All right, let's do dash, master, uh, masterful stab. And then let me see what this gives me. Dagger spray and deflect. Might as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I just need a little bit to kill here. I literally just need... Yeah, there we go. Okay, rough fight, but I was able to perfect it. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time lose HP each combat, draw three cards, as well as a Liquid Bronze Potion and Flying Your Backflip. I think I'll take a second backflip. I really need some more card draw and traditional defensive cards. Now I have a lot of gold. Should I go for the shop now? Is there... There's another one coming up here. No, let's go for the shop now. Yeah, I have plenty of gold to spend. Mm, Fossilized Helix would be great. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. Yeah, that's really good. Let's definitely take that. I don't think I need Medical Kit. Do I want Question Card? Future Card Awards have one additional card to choose from. Interesting. It would increase the chance of me being able to get Collector Bonuses. You know what? Let's take it. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Okay. And then I will take another Sneaky Strike. I can afford a Cloak and Dagger. Do I want Infinite Blades? I can just afford it. Just barely. Let's take it. I like it more than any of the other cards or potions. All right, that was a good chop. We have Blue Candle. Unplayable Curse cards can now be played. One of you played Curse was 1 HP and Exhaustive, which is really good with Centennial Puzzle and really bad with Fossilized Helix. So, depending on when I draw it, uh, when I draw the curse of, curse, of course. Do I want the Ritual Dagger? It's a little late, but it might allow me to get the Overkill modifier. It is very late, though. Hmm. Hmm. Tough decision. I... I, yeah, let's take it. Sure, let's take the Ritual Dagger. Okay. And I will try to use it as much as I can, although it's not going to always be easy. All right. So I have the Dagger Spray. It's actually, the upgraded Dagger Spray is enough. So let's get rid of everything. Keep the Dagger Spray, Acrobatics, and Dramatic Entrance. I don't think I need the Infinite Blaze. Do I want Blur? Let's keep the Blur in case I get attacked next turn. It is definitely a possibility. Let's do Dagger Spray, Dramatic Entrance. Let's see what this gives me. Uh, and let's do acrobatics in case I can play sneaky strikes, which I can. Good. So let's do sneaky strike, masterful stab, blur, and flying knee. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not being attacked, so that blur was unnecessary, but it's still a good thing to have. I'm not going to get rid of the doubt to not lose my buffer. So instead, let's just do acrobatics and then play the sneaky strikes. Okay. Then dagger throw. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't use the ritual dagger here yet. Um, Terra is great, though. And then I can just do dash. Good. Mm -hmm. Backliner's not attacking. Very nice. All that attack is not enough to kill. Let's do backflip first. Okay. Then I'll do dagger throw. Mm -hmm. Ritual dagger again. That's 22. Is that enough now? I just need a little more. So I need the all that attack not to hit the ritual dagger. It did. Of course it had to. <laughs> Uh, out of all the cards, why would it hit anything else? All right, fine, fine. We're still able to perfect this one, which is good. All right, we got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as a blessing of the forge. And I already have enough sneaky strikes and acrobatics, right? I just picked those up. Yep. I just need one more dash for the collector bonus. Right, let's take a backflip. That's my third. Okay. We got a letter opener. Every time play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies, which is nice. And yeah, definitely not a shop here. Ooh, this is great. Okay. 
All right, try to fish some of my AoE damage cards. Let's take the dramatic entrance. I think I'll get rid of everything else. All right, so let's do terror, dramatic entrance, dagger spray one, dagger spray two. And then I can kill with the dash and be fully defended. Good. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do acrobatics. Uh, can I hear? Yes, here I can use the ritual dagger. Good. Yeah. All right, definitely want to fight a powerful fight with two relic rewards. Again, gonna try to fish for some AoE damage cards. Could have probably kept the sneaky strike, right? All right, let's do dramatic entrance. Sneaky strike. And then it's gonna be hard to use the ritual dagger. I have to have the all attack. Actually, no, let me do acrobatics. I don't wanna rely on the all attack again. Then backflip. Okay, I, I don't have enough to kill. Well, let's still do all attack. All right, and now, is there a chance I might draw back to the ritual dagger? You know what? Let's target the Gremlin knob. If I can kill it, then I can try to go back to the ritual dagger. It might take me a while, though. All right, so that's a lot of incoming. Let's do dagger throw. All right, there's a sneaky strike I can play. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll take the blur here. Let's do sneaky strike, masterful stab. And then if I do dark shackles, I'll just lose the buffer from the Grumman up, and I should be able to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. 24 damage. Let's do terror, dagger spray, and then sneaky strike. Let me first see what I get here. Yeah, I can do acrobatics, so I can play the sneaky strike for free. Actually, I can also just play it for free with the cloak and dagger or a dagger spray. Yeah, let's do... Oh, but then I, I'll kill everything. In that case, let me do dash. Yeah, that way I'll have block and I can wait for a ritual dagger, which might be worth it. If I can defend, of course, uh, which I should be able to, right? Let's do backflip, piercing whale. Actually, let's do acrobatics in case I get to that ritual dagger fast. Backflip and then ritual dagger. Awesome. All right, got that upgraded too. At turnip, you can no longer become frail. And Darkstone Peria, whenever you obtain a curse and curse, you max be by six. Very nice. As well as an attack push, which I'll probably take over the liquid bronze. And then here I'll take a third dagger spray. Good. Hmm. Guaranteed regular fight here. Uh, 14 incoming. Terror is good. Dagger spray is good. And um, I th think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's do terror then. And then dagger spray. No, let's do dash first. Okay. Break the block. And then I can do dagger spray and dramatic entrance. Um, yes. Uh, do I need to play the backflip? There's nothing really it could draw me that would be useful. Let's just stop here. I guess I could have triggered the letter opener. Yeah, I might have done that. Probably should have done that. All right, so here let's... I think I'll just lose my buffer. Um, let's do backflip, see what I get. Okay, and then ritual dagger to upgrade that. Massive stab. And then I can do a sneaky strike. Okay, there's a decent chance I might kill next turn. I need 30 damage with all the ability. Let's do dagger throw. Um, and then... Dagger spray, and that's enough to kill. Good. Got a cunning potion, uh, which is great. I'll take it. No, I'm a little worried I might die to the champ, right? So let's keep the affair in the bottle. Let me get rid of the blessing of the force then. Keep the take the cunning potion. And then here I'll take another dagger throw. That's more discard synergies. Okay. Alright, next upgrade. Should that be probably not the ritual dagger, right? I'm trying to think if I should upgrade the dashes. Let's do that. Okay. All right, so Champ, who is attacking me on turn one, but I am almost fully defended. I definitely want to keep the Infinite Blades, Dramatic Entrance, and Acrobatics. Let's also do the Cloak and Dagger in case I won't be able to defend. Okay. I'll probably keep the Sneaky Strike as well. All right, so uh, let's do Infinite Blades, Terror, Acrobatics. I was hoping to get a Sneaky Strike. I did not. All right, and then let's do... I have to do Cloak and Dagger to be fully defended. Dramatic entrance, and then might as well do dagger uh, spray, right? For more damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. 25. I might just lose my buffer here. Um, I can bring this down to not 18, right? It'll be probably be around 12. Let me do backflip first, see what I get. Okay. And then I can do acrobatics. Get rid of this. Play the sneaky strikes for free. See what the escape plans gives me. Okay. And then another sneaky strike. I almost forgot about that. All right. And then I can fully defend with the... Not not fully. It has to be Dark Shackles and then Dash. Okay. All right. If I can hang on to the buffer as long as possible, I might as well, right? 19. 
I don't think I'll be able to use a ritual dagger, so let's get rid of it. Let's do backflip first, though. All right, another backflip would give me a blur. Not a bad idea. Okay, let's do escape plan, deflect, and blur. All right, masterful stab, shiv, and then ritual dagger, sure. Okay. We also probably use the attack potion before the transformation. All right, acrobatics, get rid of the reflex. Only have one sneaky strike. Yep, unfortunately, one sneaky strike. Let's do that. And then shiv, dagger, spray. Actually, that will force a transformation, right? So let me drink the attack potion here. Eviscerate is pretty good in this deck. Choke is not a bad idea, but let's do Eviscerate. I might even consider... Um, I might even consider playing the Cunning Potion. Yeah, just because I need to deal as much damage as possible while the enemy is vulnerable. I still have the buffer, which is definitely going to help too. Okay, I'm vulnerable next turn, unfortunately. Let's do another Acrobatics. Ooh, look at those sneaky strikes. One, two, three. Then Flying Knee. I Let me see what the backflip gives me. Okay, Shiv, and then All Out Attack. Now, unfortunately, next turn, I'll be weakened. I was hoping it would discard the, the doubt. Well, actually, I was weakened anyway, right? All right, 50 incoming. Oh, boy. Um, I mean, I have the Ghost in the Jar. Worst case scenario, let's do Shiv. Is there anything I can do without the Ghost in the Jar? Let's do Escape Plan. Acrobatics. I do have the extra energy, which is nice. Then a Sneaky Strike backflip. Deflect another backflip. Um, piercing Well brings it down to 16. Yeah, I will just, just lose my buffer. I think that is totally fine. Um, I'm not sure if I need to do Dagger Throw. Actually, they're the same. Well, all attack does a little bit more damage. Let's do that. Okay. There goes my buffer. 28. Can I kill here? Um, Shiv. Masterful Stab. Acrobatics. I can do sneaky strikes, and that's enough to kill a few. All right, perfect. This one still kept my Ghost in the Jar, which is useful. We got a Flex Potion, and I will continue to go for Popper, even though Malaise would have been really good. Okay, and then here, do I want Fusion Hammer? Um, Because I have Night Terrors, it would force me to lose HP. Not that I really have a lot of HP left. I could also do Runic Pyramid, although I would need some Calculate Gambles for that to really be useful. I have too many high cost cards. I don't think I can re really do that. Not in this fight. Also because I'm hoping to get enough curses. Go on Astrolabe. I can pick up, transform three cards and upgrade them. Which cards would I even want to transform? No, it's it's hard, right? Because I, I might get collector bonus on all of them. So I don't think there's any there are easy choices to transform. I might just skip this one. This, uh, this will make me lose max HP. And I don't really need the extra energy. This will clog up my hand because I have a lot of high cost cards. And not enough card... Uh, uh, not enough discard synergies. So the acrobatics all give me cards in addition to discarding one card. Uh, dagger throws are, um, well, they add one card and they remove one card. And that's pretty much it. So I don't think the Rooney Pyramid can work. I think I have to skip this one, unfortunately. Yeah, if I was confident I wasn't getting uh, going to get enough um, max HP, which is not likely because I have Dux Vampiri up, I would have taken the Fusion Hammer. All right, uh, three, again, only three elites on this flight run, but fine. Oh, is there a late shop? Because I might want to do something towards the end. No, there is a shop up here, which I'll probably take. Okay. All right, got the dark links here. Let's uh, get rid of everything. I will keep the sneaky strike and dramatic entrance, and let's do the acrobatics as well. Why not? All right, so uh, dramatic entrance first, then sneaky strike one, two, masterful stab. Okay, let's do acrobatics. Ah, a little late for that terror, huh? Uh, let's terrorize you. I can kill the backliner with the dagger spray. And then do sneaky strike. And I could do dark shackles, but there's no reason to. Might as well save it. Mm -hmm. okay. 18. Let's do another acrobatics. Um, probably don't need the piercing whale. Mm -hmm. I can do sneaky strike. That's 18. No, actually, let me do sneaky strike you. And then Dagger Spray. Do I want to wait for the uh, Ritual Dagger? Might be an option. Yeah, I can just do Deflect. Um, yeah, Deflect. Or uh, Dash, I mean. And then All Out Attack. Mm -hmm. That way, this guy's still alive. So I can easily kill once I draw the Ritual Dagger. I just have to draw it. Mm -hmm. Let's do Backflip. Ah, come on. Uh, dagger Throw. All right, there's Ritual Dagger, so um, 
If I can play a skill, which I can't. Wait, I only have one energy. Ah, uh, because now I got the ritual dagger right after the reshuffle, which means. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, right? If I play another skill, it'll kill one of them, but then I don't have, I don't have energy to play anything else. Do I want to wait another turn? Fine, fine. I, I have the card draw, so let's wait another turn. As unhappy as I am about that. Not another turn, I guess another reshuffle. Come. Alright, a lot of incoming here. Okay, you know what? And now I don't have the patience because I'm going to take too much damage. Well, actually, I'm still going to take too much damage. Alright. Well, I have the buffer for this particular turn. Mm -hmm. Acrobatics. Um, get rid of you. Then escape plan. Dagger throw. Alright. Then backflip. I should have probably played the sneaky strikes, huh? And then another acrobatics. All right, at least I'm reshuffling the deck quickly. That's good. Look at that. I had four sneaky strikes I could have played for free. Hmm. All right, so here I can do dark shackles. Um, escape plan. Do I even want acrobatics? Yeah, let's play the upgraded one. Okay, there's another ritual dagger. Great. Okay, all right, so let's do dagger spray. Hmm. Yes, and then I can do Flying Knee and Kill with Richard Dagger. Good, good. Was able to use it. Got a Speed Potion, Mountain Class, Blur, Dodge and, dodge and Roll, or Dagger Throw. How many Dagger Throws did I have? I only have two. Let's take a third one, even though I would like a second Blur, but I think this is better. Here, Piercing Well, Infinite Blades, or Dagger Spray. I'm probably okay losing the uh, Infinite Blades. How many Piercing Wells do I have? I had two, right? Yeah, I might get a Collective Bonus. I don't think I need the Infinite Blades as badly. Alright, and yeah, I definitely have to take the two normalities. That gives me max HP as well. And a bunch of gold. I might even... Oh, I can't go to the other shop because it's together with the leads. Now, the normalities will make it difficult because I do have a lot of card draw. So I might easily draw into them. So let's keep the acrobatics to discard one. Dramatic entrance. Do I need ritual dagger? It's going to be hard to use, but let's... No, no, let's get rid of it, actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, I can get rid of the normalities thanks to Blue Candle. Um, let's do Acrobatics. No, let me do Dramatic Entrance first, then Acrobatics. Okay, just making sure I don't accidentally draw another normality. And then do the Sneaky Strikes. Uh, let's do Dagger Throw. Okay, I can do another Dagger Throw, or I can play the Dash to be fully defended. Let's do that, just to be safe, and then I can do Escape Plan at the end. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, a lot of incoming here. Let's do backflip. Um, the blur is not going to help in any way, right? I think I have to do dash. And then, well, if I do blur, I'll just lose the buffer, which might be useful. Okay. Hmm. Alright, 34. That's a lot of incoming. Let's do um, escape plan first, then acrobatics to get rid of the normality. Okay. And then I can even do another acrobatics, right? Because I'm guaranteed to not draw one more. I should have played Terror there. That would have helped. Well, actually, the uh, letter opener kills too. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And then I'll do Terror. Dark Shackles. Actually, I don't want to do Deflect because um, the Oracle gives me more block. Okay. All right, and then I would love to draw the Ritual Dagger if I can. The sooner the better. Let's do acrobatics. Get rid of... That's a lot of burns. All right. And then I'll do sneaky strike one. I have to be careful not to kill. Let's do dash. And then I'll do backflip. So I'll accept a little bit of damage. I'm glad I didn't draw the ritual dagger there. To be able to use the ritual dagger next turn. Okay. I would need to draw it next turn. Um, dash kills, right? Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's do piercing wheel one, piercing wheel two. Get rid of this. And then I'll take 10 damage. Again, hoping for the Ritual Dagger. There it is. Okay, good. Possibly worth it. Got Captain's Will at the start of your third turn. Gain 18 block, which is useful. Another Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. And, wow, I don't have a single copy of any of these. Um, Dodge General is fine. Maybe Footwork. Do I? I don't even have that, many, that much sort of um, regular block cards. But let's take the Footwork. Who's my final boss, by the way? Don't know Deca. Okay, yeah. So I'm okay taking powers. All right, could get a second curse out of this. It will be the K. Oh, well, sorry, fourth curse. It will be the K curse. Nope, I took damage instead. That's a bummer. All right, eight HP. It's always. I think it's ten percent of your max HP, right? All right, giant head. Get rid of everything again. 
Um, let me keep these two in case I draw a normality. All right, I do want to play the acrobatics. Okay, I didn't draw a normality. It's really good. Let's do terror, sneaky strike, uh, dagger throw. Okay. And then dramatic entrance, dagger spray one, dagger spray two. I should have considered drinking the flex potion. I would have dealt a lot of damage, huh? All right, another acrobatics. Still no normalities. Oh, speaking of, all right, I can get rid of it with the dagger throw. Good. And then uh, let's do blur, deflect, and um, I'll do flying knee as well as escape plan at the end in case I draw a normality again. Mm -hmm. All right, fully defended here. That's good. Let's do escape plan. I don't have any discard, but I also have enough energy to just play everything here, like sneaky strike. Um, well, dash is only seven damage, whereas this would be more, right? Let's do massive stab, cloak and dagger, shiv and dagger spray. Actually, between dagger spray and dash, dash might have been, or yeah, dash might have been more. That's fine. All right, let's do acrobatics, get rid of the normality. Look at this hand, this is beautiful. I can do footwork, then play these sneaky strikes. Okay, then do another acrobatics, and I think I'll do blur. All right, a little worried. The big attacks are starting. Um, I'm okay losing the buffer though. There's no way I can fully defend here, right? Yeah, let's do dagger throw, him. and then I can play one, two. Yeah, I can play everything, so I don't need the block. Let's do masterful stab, dagger spray, one, two, and then all out attack. I mean, I still have the ghost in the jar, but 36. I don't have any card draw. I don't have any card discard. Is the skill potion able to give me something good? Bullet time, blur, dodge, and roll. I mean, I have three decks, but is that going to help? I should try. I mean, yeah, I should try. I don't think it'll help, though. Yeah, it's only 23 block. If I drank the speed potion, it would have been 33. I, that would not have been enough. I had to have drank the speed potion at the beginning. So the question is if I want to use the ghost in the jar. I think I'll rather save it for the boss fight. Yeah, honestly, I think... Wait, hang on. This will bring down to 30. Still not enough. Yeah. So if I drank um, the Speed Potion and played this Piercing Well, that would have been enough. But unfortunately, I'm losing the Perfect here. At 41. I have to be careful not to die. Let's do Acrobatics. Get rid of the Normality. Dark Shackles is good. Do I still have a Normality? No, I don't. Okay, let's do Escape Plan. And then Ritual Dagger is 58. That's not too bad. Not great either. Um... I think I'll do dash and ritual dagger. Okay, I am close to being able to kill. Take another 16 here. And then here I should be able to kill. Let's see. Um, I think I have enough, right? So if I do something like dash, dagger spray, and then all attack, that is enough to kill. Good. All right, could have perfected if I used potions aggressively. We've got oddly smooth stone, so I should come with one dexterity as well as a fire potion and. Finally, a fourth dash, right? Because I only had three from the beginning. Okay. All right. Just have to worry about the spiky here. Um, get rid of everything. I will keep the... Let's see. Let's keep the acrobatics dramatic entrance. And I don't think I need the dark shackles. Let's keep the dash in case I need block. Okay. All right. Ritual dagger is enough to kill you. Actually, if I do dramatic entrance... Then I can use Ritual Dagger to kill the Backlander. Might be better. And then I can do... Uh, let's do Acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Dagger Spray would deal 6 damage back to me. Fine. And then I can... Oh, I don't have enough energy. I thought I would be able to use the, the dash. Let me see what this gives me. Yeah, no matter. That's fine. I'll lose my buffer. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here I can get rid of this to draw extra cards. Good. And then do dash can't do dagger spray that'll take uh, oh that will make me take too much damage let's do backflip then okay and then i'll do piercing whale to just deal five damage to both okay and maybe i just need to trigger letter opener once more to kill the exploser exploder or i can do dash again and then i'll attack good okay not too bad we got another ghost in the jar that is definitely better than um yeah let me get rid of the fear in the bottle now that i have two ghosts in the jar I suppose just stab on Maneuver Bane again. I think. Wait, did I? No, I never had a slice. I don't think I need it at this point either. Yeah, not sure what I should take here. Um, Odd Maneuver is not really necessary. 
Yeah, just because I can't decide, let's take the slice. Okay. All right, got the spire growth here. It was 17 incoming. Okay, terrorist, really good. Let's keep that. Let's keep the acrobatics. Okay. All right, so um, I'll do terror acrobatics. No normality. That's good. All right, and then sneaky strike one, dramatic entrance, massive stab. Let's do footwork, flying knee, and then I can fully defend with the cloak and dagger, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 17. Let's do dark shackles, escape plan, and then I, um, between these two, I'll take the stronger one, of course. Okay. Losing my buffery, unfortunately. All right, dagger throw. Mm -hmm. Then sneaky strike, another dagger throw, dagger spray, and all attack. Okay, I just need very little to kill next turn. Actually, I can just use the attack potion, uh, the, the fire potion. I got a fear, a fear potion, which might be good, but I'm happy with the potions I have. Another backflip gives me a collector bonus for that, even though Calcate Gamble would have been much better, I think. That bag of preparation is really good at the Savage Combat. Uh, draw two additional cards. Very, very nice. And then here I have so much gold to spend. Let's buy everything, including Lee Swaffle. Up and pick up, raise your max HP by 7, heal all of your HP. That gives me 25 points from the from having enough HP. Internal Feather for every 5 cards in your deck, heal 3 HP whenever you enter a rest side. Might as well. And Regal Puller whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. Let's also grab another Piercing Whale. I needed... Oh, I only have two. Okay, so that's my third. Another Dagger Spray. That is my Collector Bonus. Good. Well, eight plants might be really nice too. Let's take it. Is there a chance I might get curses? I still have two question mark rooms coming up. Small chance, but theoretically possible. Um, in terms of relic or potions, yeah, these are fine, but I'm happy with the potions I have. And then, yeah, let's do blade dance. Might as well do finisher. And then, um, oh, I need to pick up. You know what? I'm gonna pick up the trip as well, just because I need to get to 50 cards. I'm not gonna card remove anything. Okay, I didn't pick up a rare card, right, by accident? No, no, this is all good. All right, so I have 48. Let's hope for one more curse at least. Okay, I could get a curse out of this. Let's be careful, though. So get rid of everything. I need small attacks. So dramatic entrance is good, acrobatics is good, and slice is good. The rest is can go. Okay, so let's do well-laid plans, then acrobatics. Get rid of the doubt, all right, and then a small attack like so. 33, all right, another small attack, 20-something, uh, another small attack, 11, one more small attack, although that'll be my last one, um, that's a little dangerous, and no curse, and instead I got 33, great, well, I guess I'm losing my uh, buffer early, all right, let's hang on to these two, hmm. at least I can get rid of the curses easily now, I don't actually think I'll play terror, because I don't want the enemy vulnerable, let's do dash, uh, 24. Another dash? Is that too much? Let's risk it. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, yeah, this is fine. I'll keep these two. Okay. I really would like to get the curse out of this. 11. Um, alright. Flying knee. Oh, that's not even enough to get through the block there. Okay, Massless. That was good. Mm -hmm. Alright, perfect. There's a curse. Yep, yep. Curse is good. And I'll keep the Dark Shackles for block. Okay, now I can just start to deal damage as much as I can. Awesome. Get rid of this to draw extra cards. All right, let's do trip. I still have a normality in my... Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Um, so let's just do a, a dagger throw, sneaky strike, a dash. I'll do blur. And then can I do one more attack? Yeah, let's do the shivs here. 16 is probably fine. Let's do one more. No, I think I'll stick with 16. Okay. That way I have a little bit of block left over for next turn. And then Britchel Dagger, unfortunately, is not enough to kill yet, right? Let's do Shiv, Cloak and Dagger, Backflip. Mm -hmm. And then Escape Plan, another Shiv. I can do All Attack, Hope, and oh, it was the Ritual Dagger, and then Finisher. Um, it won't be enough to kill. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to draw the uh, Ritual Dagger again next turn. That'll be great. How am I doing on time? 46 minutes. Okay, that's rough. All right, uh, let me see if I can hold up for the Ritual Dagger. Um... Dagger throw would give me card draw with the reflex, of course. And then I can do deflect and piercing whale. Yep, that way I don't take any damage. Okay. And then let's keep the... Actually, dash might kill, right? I'll just wait. Hmm. Another 11. Uh, let's do acrobatics. Uh, probably just focus on block cards. So backflip 
And then Cloak and Dagger. Oh, or Piercing Well, that might be better. Oof, I have to be careful. I can't play too many skills. Well, I can't play more than three skills at all. So basically just have to hope I get the Ritual Dagger. Let's do Acrobatics 1. Um, I think I'll just do Piercing Whale. And I can't do another skill because then I'll kill. So let's just wait. I'll accept three damage. I'll keep the backflip. Yeah, I'm, I have lost hope a little bit of being able to get the Overkill, modder with, um, overkill Modifier with the Ritual Dagger. But, you know, might as well still to try to get it upgraded. We got an Attack Push, which I don't think I'll take. Leg Sweep is really good. I only have one existing copy of Flying Sleeve, but Leg Sweep is so much better. Let's take it. Okay. A Raptor Mancer. All right. Uh, get rid of everything. I will keep the Sneaky Strikes, the Dramatic Entrance, and I think that's it. Yep. Okay. All right. I don't want to do escape plan. Let's do dramatic entrance first. Uh, you know what? Here I'm going to drink the flex potion. Free up my um, potion slots a little. Then dagger spray to kill. And then I can do sneaky strike. One, two, slice. Dagger throw. Okay. Unless I draw two acrobatics, uh, two normalities. Yeah, this is still good. Unfortunately, I can't do the sneaky strike. I can do another dagger spray though. Could have considered blur in case I get attacked next turn, but I still have two ghosts in the jars, which should be useful. Ritual Dagger 36. Um, let's do Acrobatics. Okay. Then Trip. Mm -hmm. Backflip. Oh, if I get the Normality. Oh, that was close. Should have been much more careful there. Normality would have been very annoying. Okay. Can I defend here? I have 13. I need 14. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll use the Speed Potion here. Yeah, that way I'll, I'll just lose the buffer and nothing else. Okay, and then let's do all out of... Actually, no, let me do Volley Plants. That way I can hang on to the Ritual Dagger and uh, not all attack, Blade Dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 31. Uh, get rid of this to see what I draw. Still have another Normality, right? Yeah. Leg Sweep is pretty good. Should allow me to be fully defended, right? Yep. Okay, and then let's do Blade Dance. No, Dagger Spray first, then Blade Dance. Okay. And then um, might as well see what the escape plan gives me. Perfect. That's another malady. Keep these two. Actually, the ritual dagger is enough to kill next turn, right? Oh, wait. No. Yeah, I thought I was weakened, but I'm not. Not anymore, at least. At Smiley Mask, the Metroid's card room service now always costs 50 gold, as well as a power potion. And is that my collective bonus on Piercing Whale? Yes, it is. Awesome. All right. Okay. Last elite. I still need one, one more curse in the next, uh, in the next four. 21 incoming. Get rid of everything to the side. So keep the acrobatic dramatic entrance and sneaky strike and terror. Uh, yes, yes, I think this is good. All right, so I can get rid of the normality, right? No, I can with the acrobatics. All right, let's do terror. Then acrobatics. I was really hoping I didn't get another sneaky, another normality. Then trip, play the sneaky strikes. Mm-hmm. Slice Dramatic Entrance. Unfortunately, I need to play the backflip, and that's even that alone is not going to be enough. Yeah, wow, look at that. 58 damage with the Dagger Spray, that's pretty good. Um, I unfortunately have to use, hang on. So the most damage I can do is, uh, this is 12, this is 15, right? Yeah, let's do Ritual Dagger, and then all-out attack. Yeah, the Fire Potion is not enough, so I have to use in the Ghost Jar, which seems a shame because there's a chance I might not be able to perfect. Should have kept the Piercing Well, really. Yeah, this is what I was worried about, right? Backflip 1. Leg Sweep, that's at least good. 34. Actually, wait, I have the buffer. Why am I worrying about this? Let's do Welly Plants. Okay. Yeah, let's lose the buffer. Actually, I could have lost the buffer last time too, right? That's fine. Another 15. Um, this seems like something I could perfect here. All right, let's do Sneaky Strike, Dagger Spray, Flying Knee for a kill. Good. All right. Had to use a, a Ghost in the Jar, but this is fine. We got Old Coin up and pick up, gain 300 gold, as well as a Speed Potion and um, a second. I mean, it's a little too late for a second slice. I think I'll take it prepared for some more discard synergies and no curse. Well, Relic, but no curse. So now I'm thinking I, I was offered a, um, what do you call it, a mirror? Uh, 
The mirror early on, although I don't think I had a curse back then, so I don't think I could have duplicated a curse, but that might have been possible if I didn't take that early shop. All right, uh, so lose a bunch of gold and gain the red mask at the Star Reach Combat. Apply one week to all enemies, which is uh, helpful to get rid of the um, artifact on the enemies on the final boss. All right, and then next, I probably should upgrade Lex Weeb. Yeah, Lex Weeb upgrade is very valuable. Let's do that. Yeah, the extra turn of weakness should help. Okay, I'm also feeling good. I have some good potions. I think I will drink. Hang on, let me get rid of things first. Okay, so keep the dramatic entrance, sneaky strike, and acrobatics for card draw. Okay. All right, no normality. So let's also drink the power potion first. And Venom is really good because I have Sneko Skull. Let's take it. Yeah, I think that fits this deck really well. Let's play that. All right, then do dramatic entrance. Okay. And then I can do Piercing Whale to not have to worry about incoming, this turn at least. Sneaky Strike 1 and 2. And then Dagger Spray 1, 2, and then a Slice. Now I could, I might have considered playing the Lex Sweep, but this is fine. Okay. Still have a buffer, which is useful. All right, a lot of incoming here. Um, so what do I do? What do I do? Uh, let's do Dagger Throw. All right. I don't th oh, well, actually, let's do Reflex to draw. Piercing Whale. That brings it down to um, 16. Still not going to be enough. Let's get rid of the Normality. Okay. There's nothing I can do, right? I can play the Sneaky Strike. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I think I... Ha let let's do Piercing Whale. Actually, no, no, no. Let's. I don't need the piercing well. Let's drink the ghost in a jar. Yeah, that's the only way I can fully defend anyway. Might as well do finisher here. Okay. I'll keep these two because as soon as I lose my buffer, I want to use the parasite to draw cards with the centennial puzzle. Okay. All right. I do have 18 here, which is useful. I need 28, though, so I need another 10. The blur alone is not enough, although I do have piercing well. Let's do backflip first. Okay, good. So then I can do terror, blur, deflect... Um, let's do escape plan at the end. I'll do all out attack. Okay, I was hoping to keep the piercing whale. Then escape plan. And then, um, I don't think I need back food. Let's keep it for next turn. Okay. Oh, I don't have the buffer anymore. No, no, I do. I do have the buffer, right. It's my emergency. Uh, okay, so here I do have, I have two piercing whales, which is useful. Let's do dash. 28, I need 34. So the backflip is enough. Okay, there's a Ritual Dagger. Only 43 damage. That's a little pathetic, I have to admit. Let's do Massive Stab, Ritual Dagger. At least that will kill the Backliner. Okay. No more blurs for me, though. And then let's do Trip. And then I'll keep the two Piercing Wells. I think that's going to be very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. 34. Uh, so, yeah, I can play three Piercing Wells. Uh, let me do Dagger Throw first. Okay, then do a free sneaky strike, and then do piercing whale one, two, and three. Okay. All right, can't complain about how that turn went. Still have my buffer. And time-wise, yeah, I'm definitely about 45 and definitely below uh, 40, uh, 50, uh, 60, I mean. All right, let's do dash, blade dance, play the shivs, mm -hmm. and then cloak and dagger. And here I'll hang on to the dark shackles. That The dark shackles alone should be... Enough to fully defend, right? No, wait. It only brings it down to 8 times 2. So I will still need some block. Um, let's do dagger throw. Okay, free sneaky strike is always nice. Do I want to do acrobatics? Dash alone is not enough. Let's see what the acrobatics gives me. And upgraded dash that unfortunately... Still not enough, so I think I'm losing my buffer here, right? Whatever I do. I guess I could have... Mm, if I drank the speed potion, I would have not have to lose the dash, uh, the, the buffer, but fine, but fine. I'm fairly close to being able to kill, so I think I'm, it's fine to lose the buffer now. All right, let's do dagger throw. Mm -hmm. Then backflip, in case I get a normality. I did not. And then let's do dagger throw again. Blade dance. I can't do blade dance and finisher, so maybe I'll keep it for next turn. Let's do dagger spray. Throw the fire potion, and then that's enough with the poison. Okay, good. Phew. All right. Perfected everything other than, I think, the very first elite, uh, the Lagavulin. That's the only one I can uh, perfect, right? Other than that, 1555, that's not too bad. 
So out of the nine elites, I perfected... Oh, seven. Okay, so there's a second elite I missed. Oh, uh, I think that was the giant head. Right, because I didn't want to use the ghost in the jar. And I think that was the right decision because I used the ghost in the jar to perfect another elite and the boss. It was definitely useful. Um, I did miss curses. I think that was the big thing. Um, might have been difficult to get it, but theoretically possible. Um, also, getting one extra curse with Deduction Imperia would have given me an extra 25 points from the max HP. Uh, was able to protect all the bosses. I like Shiny was easy, Mystery Machine. Six collector bonuses, which is pretty good. Yeah, I got an early... Well, I had all but one card for Acrobatics, a Dash, and the Sneaky Strike early on. Got three already, and then I got a Backflip, Dagger Spray. I was close to another, another collector bonus on Dagger Throw. And then Piercing Whale. Yeah, so very happy with those collector bonuses. Um, overall, yeah, let, let's see where to stand in the rankings because if I if people got much more points, then curses was possible. Yeah, okay, I do think based on seeing Pels and... Well, actually, okay, I'm 31st. That's not too far back. Uh, Steven got uh, 50... Uh, what is that? 48 points more. Okay, so that's a multiple of 25. George got uh, 54 points more. All right. And then Mike and... Uh, wait, Mike got about 75 points more, and then Pelz was able to get 150 points more. 152 points to be exact. Yeah, so that makes me think that Curses was definitely possible. I don't think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the uh, mirror offered on the very first shot where I didn't have a curse yet. But theoretically, yeah, this is something I, I rarely think of, uh, duplicating the curse. Just because it's so difficult to predict if you'll be able to see enough curses or not. But I probably should... Well, no, it's not even that, right? Because I had the flight modifier. I knew I was going to hit a lot of question mark rooms. And I hit four question... Or not four, 20 question mark rooms. And I only got four curses out of them, which is a little disappointing and, and not to be expected. But yeah, so if somebody duplicates that curse early on, that is definitely worth it. Let me know in the comments what you did, if you're able to get cursed or if there's something else that I missed um, that might have allowed you to get a higher score. But otherwise, I'm, it's, I think I'm happy with this run. Not a high score just like yesterday, but um, yeah, yesterday I made it top 20. Not as high as yesterday, but still, I'm very happy with this. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.